I tell all my hoes, break it up, break it down, back it up, fuck 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 it up, No, where are we going? What you are going? This is the Do you, place? you know where we going? Yeah, I know where you are going. Where? We are in Pakkersteeg number three. We are. You're right. Yeah? Thank you, sir. Okay. Go to Amsterdam, you go to a coffee shop, do not order anything. <clears throat> it's not good. So we got up, we left, we went to another spot. And that food was banging. But then we got caught in the rain. No rain listed on the weather report at all. Even as it's raining, it still <laughs> says no rain on the weather report. Who brought an umbrella or rain boots or raincoat? Not me. We heard it rains, but when you look at the app, there's no rain listed. Crazy. Crazy. But at the hotel, we made a comment like they have complimentary umbrellas right by the door. <clears throat> but we didn't grab them yesterday because the weather was like this. Like it was gray, but it was yeah, it wasn't raining for the majority of the time we were outside. Uh, but while we were eating, the sky fell out. But today, baby, I don't care what the weather is. Bam, we got umbrellas on day. <clears throat> Cause that's not happening. And I'm trying to stay out tonight. So, um, Kristen is a fellow insomniac. So, she came with me on a 2 a.m. smoke break. It was so nice. We was both out here looking crazy as hell. In pajamas. I had shorts on, so I just had on a blazer. <coughs> over my pajamas. But, Kristen, you had on pants. Pajama pants. Listen, still better than pajama shorts. <laughs> okay? Out here, scarf, bonnet, and all. Why did we think we would be the only people outside? I don't know. Amsterdam on a Friday night? Wow. So we out here, right, with a huge group of people. People coming and going, taxis actively pulling up and leaving. Like people strolling in from the metro. 
I'm just out here looking crazy as hell, smoking in pajamas. But I guess, when are you ever gonna smoke outside a hotel in Amsterdam? We did. Right? So do it while you can. <laughs> do it while you can. But today we have plans. We're going to this place called the Albert's Cup Market. It's like a, like a flea market and like a food truck even put together. So I'm excited. Nice. Look for some souvenirs. Grab a bite. But we'll, we're taking it. So you'll see. Yeah, my navigation is trash. Like mentally, I just cannot comprehend directions. So with the use of my phone and even like checking the signs in Amsterdam, we wandered around the city like pretty much lost a decent portion of the time. Now we got lost in the right direction because we stumbled upon some pretty cool shit, but we made it to Albert's Market. We went souvenir shopping, had a bite to eat, this little like potato omelet thing that you just saw, got some fresh juice, sat by the water for a little bit, caught the tram, and then we went to a spot called Beatty's. It is exactly Exactly what it sounds like it is a store with nothing but beads two levels of these little drawers with these beads I picked out enough for a bracelet for myself Gabriel and Noah and I decided to take the beads and the string with me to assemble them at home which is a whole nother thing that you'll see in the next vlog then after we left Beatty's we came across a Starbucks uh, had to stop right it's been like I don't know a couple months since I've had Starbucks I got these two pastries to go and then we ended up at this fry spot I got truffle fries with parmesan Parmesan and mayo on it, sat by the canal, had a bite, and then we went back to the hotel. Just waiting for you. Hi. Oh, Everybody gone now. Nobody here. Do you want people just going up? No. No, just Italy. Thank you. At this point, I think we were getting a nice little feel for the navigation. There are two train stations near our hotel. One leads to like downtown. The other one just takes you to the airport. Don't, don't pick the wrong one. <laughs> you don't, you don't want to leave before you've gotten started. We ended up at this brunch spot called Ted's. The ambiance is A1, y'all. Just look at it. Can I do the strawberry bellini? Sure. Can I have a water still? Yeah, you do. Just grab water? Uh, or a bottle. Uh, I have the donut and chicken. Okay. And then an order of waffle fries. The first one or the second one? The first one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This masterpiece is called a donut and chicken. It's a sweet chili glazed donut with this like super crunchy chicken on top. It's the perfect amount of sweet and spicy. If you end up in this tiny quaint corner of Amsterdam, go to Ted's. I will leave all these fun places linked down below. <laughs> After brunch, we made an appointment at this jewelry shop to get forever bracelets. It's where they weld the jewelry onto your wrist, so it's like permanent jewelry. Adorable. So me and Kristen are getting ready to take a smoke boat tour. I haven't talked to y'all since, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before. Anyway, lots happened, you've seen it. Uh, we had interesting cab rides. We met an interesting man at dinner last night. <laughs> and now, and now, get ready to float and smoke. 
The man definitely tried to coerce us to go to like this general area. I don't even know the area, I can't trust it. And then tried to give us a ride home. Like was very persistent, twice. Yeah. Two grown women. He gave us a free. Oh, a free bottle of the good stuff, the good Prosecco. It was good though. It was good. He wouldn't mind about that, but his whole approach was just no. He could have kept that bottle. So all day we've been talking about whether we're gonna get like one of these cover boats or one of these open boats. And it's these over here. We're not gonna be froze out on the canal. Ooh, baby, we out here getting nervous. Now this boat right here we thought was ours or the one behind it. The one behind it has left. This is not our boat neither. Our boat don't get here for another 10 minutes. What's it gonna look like? This one over here, we about to be freezing on the water. Baby, we don't even need to discuss the boat that I actually booked, but I ended up going to the red and blue boat and just asking the lady like, yo, I booked the wrong tour, so can we hop on with y'all? And lucky enough, they had enough seats. Good morning, it's our last couple hours in Amsterdam. We stepped out just for a second to grab some souvenirs. Of course, wait until the last minute because that's appropriate. <laughs> Very on brand for me. But before I start stuffing them in my bag, I'm gonna show y'all what I got. We came across this crazy duck store. I'm telling you, Amsterdam is like the right amount of weird. And the lead place duck store. So, no, I got the panda. Gabriel got the gamer duck. And then I got this duck that's like stuck in the matrix for Jake. Something he could put on his desk at work. IT code, that's cute. And then the real reason why we went down there was for the candy. There's like these jars out front. I'll pop a picture here on the screen. And um, we've been raiding them like in and out of the hotel. So we found this candy store and found a bunch of the ones that they have been putting in the balls downstairs and then just some fun ones like Gabriel likes these coat guys and these like sour worms they weren't in there i snagged a pair of socks these are cute i can't read the size though size 35 to 41 i converted it centimeters to inches it's not centimeters though because i think it said that uh it'll fit somebody in that house <laughs> this is a keychain i'll show y'all that soon and then I got this shirt for Jake, really for me, probably, but it's cute. Maybe I'll just let him wear it first. I got a bad habit of doing that. <laughs> I do the same thing, it's okay. I got you this shirt, but. Okay, ready to check out but look what we found it's a little rooftop restaurant we had a bougie dinner out in town but baby this could have been it look at the view crazy ambiance is crazy plants on the ceiling i love it now we just gotta come back yeah we have to. it's a reason it never was got to see this part <laughs> for the record amsterdam's the shit there was always a reason like this is definitely not it <laughs> Sold on moving to the city. First 10 hours here. Like, how do I stay? Not a 24 hour bike parking lot. On the train headed to the airport, um, the train smells like a new car. It's real clean in here. It ain't nobody in this whole car that we're in. We have been habitually lost the entire trip. Not us ooh and on at the train. 
and getting ready to go to the train yard. Like, it's all tracks down here. The conductor came on, he was like, y'all lucky I walked through here. <laughs> Cause we was getting ready to go to the train yard. So I guess turn around and get out to the next stop and then work it out from there, even though my phone says none of that. Strong to the airport. We're almost about to catch our flight, have some lunch, sit down for a little bit. Um, why is everything in Amsterdam so deceivingly nice? This is the airport bathroom. Huge floor to ceiling stalls. Adult love vanity. Toilet cleaner for the seats. Amsterdam going in. I've been disappointed by very few things in the city. Look at my damn box tail. Damn. Every time I look in the mirror, it's like a no, another animal. Krista don't do nothing but compare her hair to a uh, well. animal tail. Squirrel and a fox so far. This is a fox. This is giving me fox. Oh my gosh. I'll her. I'll lay her on her head. Girl. It's gorgeous. Not the first person Naples trying to take me out. <laughs> Take me back! 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 Take me back!